This is just nuts. I don't know if this comes out in the video. Well, there went my day off. I can't see the rain, but... Well, nothing much, nothing left to do, but maybe another chapter. How's it going, people? Well, my my weekend has been called due to rain, so I thought I would do another video with my pal, old Chubb. I mean, I got like four videos uh, already made, and I haven't uploaded them yet. But we're finishing the saga of the Nephites in this video, or <laughs> unless it has to go long. But that's my intention, is to uh, finish the, uh, the book of, uh, well, the chap last chapter of Mormon, and then we can get on with the uh, Saga of the Jaredites, which promises to be enlightening. Alright, chapter 9, the last gasp of the Nephites. Okay. Moroni's address to unbelievers. His testimony concerning the Christ. The Nephite language known as Reformed Egyptian. So they're going to finally explain that. All right. Looking forward to that. One. And now. I speak also concerning those who do not believe in Christ. 2. Behold, will ye believe in the day of your visitation? J.C. pops it for a visit, and I find that mighty convincing. I'm all for it, you know. I'm an open-minded individual. Bring it on. Behold, when the Lord shall come. Yeah, the visitation, when the Lord shall come. Except he hasn't and he won't. <laughs> but he's welcome to if he if he exists. And I doubt it. But I'd love to change my mind. If I had a reason. <sighs> Yea, even that great day when the earth shall be rolled together as a scroll. You know, scrolls are long and flat, and you can roll them up like a scroll. And we're pillaging Isaiah again, aren't we? Yeah, you can roll the world up like a scroll because it's nice and flat. And the element shall melt with fervent heat. Yea, in that great day when ye shall be brought to stand before the Lamb of God. Then will ye say that there is... And wait, then will ye say there is no God? Um, you know, I'll drive off that bridge when I get to it. And if I never get there, I guess I just won't have to drive off that bridge. No bridge. Three. I'm sorry, I'm using Scientology language. Get on the bridge. Oh, by the way. Yeah, they're all over uh, the mall. This is an, a Narconon tract. And if you look at, in the, at the small print way back here at very last page, it gives props to uh, LRH and Scientology. Seems a little deceptive, you know, if you ask me. I mean, here's some poor kid 
maybe 19 years old, dressed up like a Mormon missionary, tie and all, <laughs> pocket protector, and he's giving out these movie flyers and uh, these these tracks, different days. <laughs> Yeah, they're handing these out to people at the I'm waiting at the bus stop out in front of their building. They just hang out front, you know, like like they're crack dealers or something. <sighs> Do ye suppose that ye shall dwell with him under a consciousness of your guilt? So what, it would bother you to be in heaven having a good time going, man, I bet he knows about that parking ticket. Or whatever. Or that day I did something shitty a long time ago. Uh-oh. Do ye suppose that ye could be happy to dwell with that holy being? When your souls are wrecked with a consciousness of guilt that ye have ever abused his laws? For, behold, I say unto you that ye would be more miserable to dwell with a holy and just God under a consciousness of your filthiness before him. And ye would to dwell with the damned souls in hell. Five. For behold, when ye shall be brought to see your nakedness before God, he gets to see everybody naked. Then again, he sees everything. Always. Everything. Every little thing. He doesn't do anything, but he sees them all. He's just keeping track, I guess. Or something. And also the glory of God. So God and, and His glory. I call mine Mr. Happy. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, maybe he calls His glory. Uh, <laughs> and the holiness of Jesus Christ. It will kindle a flame of unquenchable fire upon you. Six. Oh, then, ye unbelieving, turn ye unto, unto the Lord, cry mightily unto the Father, in the name of Jesus. It's kind of confusing when you think about that. I mean, the same guy but call unto his dad through him. Seems like just there's a redundant step there, a middleman. <laughs> that perhaps ye may be found spotless, pure, fair, white, having been cleansed by blood of the Lamb at that great and last day. So stick with them and they'll make you a honky eventually. And if you're a honky, they'll make you even whiter. <laughs> I can't wait. I gotta be Wonder Bread. Just kidding. Seven. And again, I speak unto you who deny the revelations of God and say that they are done away, that there are no revelations, nor prophecies, nor gifts, nor healings, nor speaking with tongues and the interpretation of tongues, which I understand the LDS, uh, they don't do that anymore, they used to. 
It got embarrassing. It got out of hand, everyone. Prophecy. Get their name tacked on in this book, <laughs> you know? Get their own section. Eight! Behold, I say unto you, he that denieth these things knoweth not the gospel of Christ. Yea, he has not read the scriptures. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Every once in a while, I re pick them up and read them again. I'm about due. Right now, I'm doing this. <sighs> Yea, he has not read the scriptures. If so, he does not understand them. All right, now that's possible. <laughs> that's why I let people comment or leave video responses automatically. Nine. For do we not read that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and in him there is no variableness, neither shadow of changing? Uh, read your Bible from cover to cover, and you, you pretty much know that's not true. God's always changing and modifying. He's even softened a little bit. You know? I mean, he flooded the earth and he said he will never flood the earth again. Well, he changed from a flooding God to a non flooding God. Uh, uh, he sacrificed himself for us and became his own daddy. And we became a human, uh, had all the disgusting things that we have, you know, as human mortal beings. Or at least, I mean, I mean, imagine that God going through what we go through. Should have been a woman. <laughs> yeah, but, but he wasn't. I mean, you know, he could have like talked about suffering a little better then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally lost my place, sorry. Yeah. He's unchangeable. That's why they needed a New Testament, because he's unchangeable. That's why they needed a Koran, because he's unchangeable. That's why they need this, because he's unchangeable. Uh, but the story keeps changing, and he, his personality gets just a little different. Anyhow, I mean, it, there was a time where he didn't want to even leave a mountaintop. It's like, hey, you need magic power? Here's a magic stick. Turns into a snake and does a bunch of crazy shit. It'll be like a portable me. I guess it gives him, you know, Wi-Fi pickup or something. But anyway, you know, that's what he did all the miracles with. Well, did they use a lot of magic wands after that? I mean, Elijah and Alicia, and that's about it, I think. You know, Aaron did some things, you know. But, you know, but then it's, you know, then there was the Urim and Thummim that David was using, because you needed that to talk to God. You needed to sacrifice animals to God, that God said, no, I don't want them anymore. But he never changes. I say he does. I think he's been evolving, actually. <laughs> As different people interpret this, this concept, this fictional character. And, and now, if ye have imagined up unto yourselves a God who doth vary, and in whom there is a shadow of changing, then have ye imagined up unto yourselves a God who is not a God of miracles? Especially in this book. Eleven. But behold... I will show unto you a God of miracles. Bring it on. Even the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And it is that same God who created the heavens and the earth. Twelve. Behold, he created an Adam, and by Adam came the fall of man. 
And because of the fall of man came Jesus Christ. And even the Father and the Son. And because of Jesus Christ came the redemption of man. Thirteen. And because of the redemption of man, which came by Jesus Christ, they are brought back into the presence of the Lord, yea. This is wherein all men are redeemed because of the death of Christ. Because the death of death of Christ bringeth to pass. I almost forgot about this. The resurrection, which bringeth to pass. That those does qualify. They're like kissing cousins of uh, it came to pass. Almost the same damn thing. A redemption from an endless sleep from which sleep all men shall be awakened by the power of God when the trump shall sound and they shall come forth, both great, both small and great, and all shall stand before his bar, being redeemed and loosed from this eternal band of death, which death is a temporal death. Fourteen, and then cometh the judgment of the Holy One upon them. Ooh. And then come at the time that he that is filthy shall be filthy still. And he that is righteous shall be righteous still. And he that is unhappy shall be unhappy still. Fifty. And now, O oh, all ye that have imagined up unto yourselves a God that can do no more, can do no miracles, I would ask of you, have all these things passed of which I have spoken? No, oh, no. We got to take your word on it. And I'm not ready to do that. Has the end come? Yet? Not yet. But I'm sure that, you know, it's going to stay doomsday until doomsday. Even if it's another thousand years from now, we're going to act, live every day like it's your last. Behold, I say unto you, nay, and God has not ceased to be a god of miracles. Sixteen. Behold, are not the things that God hath wrought marvelous in our eyes? Oh. Yea. And who can comprehend the marvelous works of God? Seventeen. Who shall say that it was not a miracle? that by his word the heaven and the earth should be. And by the power of his word man was created of the dust of the earth. Then how can we still have dust? I mean, we're here now. I mean, that's what a creationist asked me about apes. You know, if, people, if men came from apes, how can we still got apes? I'm like, well, how can we still got Mud. Dust. You were made from that, right? <laughs> Sorry. Keep going off topic, don't I? All right. Behold, are not the things of God, things that God had wrought? Behold, 16, behold, are not the things that God hath wrought marvelous in our eyes? Yea, and who could can comprehend the marvelous works of God. 
17. You know, some examples about now would really be helpful. I'm not sure what you're meaning. 17. Who shall say that it was not a miracle that by his word the heaven and the earth should be? Oh, that's it? <laughs> uh, that's pretty weak. And by the power of his word, man was created of the dust of the earth. And by the power of his word, have miracles been wrought. 18. And who shall say that Jesus Christ did not many mighty miracles? And I'm just going to drink to the three M's. Marvelous. And there were many mighty miracles wrought by the hands of the apostles. Nineteen. And if there were miracles wrought then, why has has God ceased to be a God of miracles and yet be an unchanging being? Sounds like a contradiction, doesn't it? And behold, I say unto you, he changeth not. That's what you say. If so, he would cease to be God. Exactly. And he ceases not to be God and is a God of miracles. Damn, checkmate, man. He just went full circle on me. <laughs> just can't win there. Twenty. And the reason why he ceaseth to do miracles among the children of men is because that they dwindle in unbelief and depart from the right way, and know not the God in whom they should trust. So, I mean, he did it for Moses and the Israelites. Come on. He woke up Alma Jr. when he was uh, being an enemy of the church. Yeah, it's like, oh, they don't believe? Well, just in that case, I'm going to make it seem like I don't exist. Fuck them. <sighs> Twenty-one. Behold, I say unto you, that whoso believeth in Christ, doubting nothing, doubting nothing, whatsoever he shall ask the Father in the name of Christ, it shall be granted him, and his promises unto all, even unto the ends of the earth. 22. For behold, thus saith Jesus Christ, the Son of God, unto his disciples, who shall tarry? The three tarries? Yea, and also to all his disciples, in the hearing of the multitude, what tense are we in? <laughs> Go ye into all the world to pr and preach the gospel to every creature. These are the final words of Moroni. And it's pretty much all fucking repetition. Just saying. Ah, 23. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall shall be damned, damn him. Twenty-four. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Not among the LDS, not anymore. They and they shall take up serpents. Nope, wrong bunch of uh, religiotards. 
They don't handle serpents, Mormons. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. I don't think Mormons do that either. And you know what? That's that's wise of them. <laughs> don't do that. Don't jump with Jesus. Just don't jump. It shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, the Mormons do try to do that a little bit. I've seen that. 25. And whosoever shall believe in my name, doubting nothing unto him, will I confirm all my words. So if he already believes, you'll make him believe. You'll make a believer out of him. He already believes. It, it, you start by with the desire to believe. And then the suspension, the willful suspension of disbelief. <sighs> unto him I will... Uh, even unto the ends of the earth. How about that? 26. And now, behold... Who can stand against the works of the Lord? Who can deny his sayings? Who will rise up against the almighty power of the Lord? Who will despise the works of the Lord? Did you just say that part? Uh, who will despise the children of Christ? Behold, all ye who are despisers of the works of the Lord, for ye shall wander and perish, you haters. Drinking that hater aid. 27. Oh, then despise not, and wonder not, but hearken unto the words of the Lord, and ask the Father in the name of Jesus for what things Soever ye shall stand in need. Doubt not, but be believing, and begin as in times of old, and come unto the Lord with all your heart, and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling before Him. Sounds good. <clears throat> 28. Be wise in the days of your probation. Strip yourselves of all uncleanliness. Uncleanness, excuse me. Uncleanness. Ask not that ye may consume it on your lusts, but ask with a firmness unshaken that ye will yield not to temptation, but that ye will serve the true and living God. 29. See that ye are not baptized unworthily. See that ye partake not of the sacrament of Christ unworthily, but see that ye do all things in worthiness, and do it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the no longer living guy. And if ye do this and endure to the end, ye will in no, uh, no wise be cast out. Verity, behold, I speak unto you as though I spake from death. He's talking to all of us in future land. For I know that ye shall hear my words. Well, maybe read them, if they're yours. If there was a you. 31. Condemn me not because of mine imperfection, neither my father because of his imperfection, neither them who have written before him, but rather give thanks unto God, 
that he hath made manifest unto you are imperfections, that ye may learn to be more wise than we have been. 32. And now behold, we have written this record according to our knowledge in the characters which are called upon us the reformed Egyptian. Called among us the reformed Egyptian. Being handed down and altered by us, according to our manner of speech. 33. And if our plates had been sufficiently lar large, we should have written in Hebrew. But the Hebrew hath been altered by us also. That explains it. And if we could have written in Hebrew, behold, ye would have had no imperfection in our record. So it was like a command decision, you know. They had to do it in the Reformed Egyptian. For some reason, we have two written languages, and one of them is, has never been heard of. 34. But the Lord knoweth the things which we have written, and also that none other people knoweth our language. Therefore, he hath prepared means for the interpretation thereof. Thirty-five. And these things are written that we may rid our garments of the blood of our brethren who have dwindled in unbelief. 36. And behold, these things which we have desired concerning our brethren, yea, even their restoration to the knowledge of Christ, are according to the prayers of all the saints who have dwelt in the land. 37. And may the Lord Jesus Christ grant that their prayers may be answered according to their faith. That their prayers may be answered according to their faith. Wait. No, oh, I just reread that part. That's all right. And may God the Father remember the covenant which he hath made with the house of Israel. And may he bless them forever through faith on the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's it for uh, Mormon. And then they got the Book of Ether, and I'm not going to get into that tonight. But looking forward to this, because I don't have a firm recollection of it. I read it once or twice before, a long time before. It seemed unmemorable, but somehow doing it on video makes it better. Besides, I can share it. Anyway, I hope you learned something. That was all Marone I had to say. Uh, not much original material there. Even though he's running out of gold, he didn't seem to run out of uh, in word in uh, count inflation. You know, uh, uh, pad more padding, more filler, more re repeated phrases. I've scanned a little bit ahead and ether and uh, it's kind of thirsty so stay tuned let me know if you learned something please share by all means I'd like to hear it whatever it is stay tuned we'll uh, start the uh, book of uh, ether we may need some ether <laughs> for it <laughs> then again maybe that's why they call it ether it knocks your ass out <laughs> speaking of which peace the fuck out have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having it's raining cats and dogs outside my kind of fucked up my weekend <laughs> just raining and raining I don't think I'm doing any DNC tonight